Here's tonight's 9 at 9. After a life in prison sentence was handed down to killer nurse Janine Jones, prosecutors gave back some evidence. They're in a, a box that contain not only the Bible, the address book, but the other items that were taken. Jones' Bible seized during a sweep of her cell last fall. She went to court asking that it be returned, but the state balked. And those cases have been permanently resolved. As a result of this plea agreement, Jones gave up her right to appeal that life sentence. Nine days after Iran launched retaliatory missile strikes on U.S.-backed bases in Iraq, military officials are revealing American troops were injured in the attack. The military now saying several were treated for concussion symptoms from the blast. 11 U.S. service members have been evacuated to Germany and Kuwait because of worsening symptoms. That revelation after President Trump and military leaders initially said this. No Americans were harmed in last night's attack by the Iranian regime. A dangerous storm plowing across the country. It brings heavy snow to the west and is now targeting the Midwest and Northeast. Here in Salt Lake City, they were already keeping a very close eye on this storm that was bringing strong winds and also the snow you see here. But they already had several inches of snow on the ground here from a prior storm. This one bringing more of it. Snow covered terrain could be seen in Washington state along with stranded drivers and power outages. Many residents left stuck in their homes. A major interstate in Northern California had to be shut down due to snowy conditions. This 17 year old visibly distraught after San Antonio police say he allegedly shot his 15 year old friend in the head. Police say the victim's parents were in the same apartment during the shooting. Leaving the weapon behind, police say the older teen had fled the scene at first, but eventually returned to be taken into custody. Many questions yet to be answered. Among them, what led up to the shooting and where did the gun come from? Tens of thousands expected for an upcoming gun rights rally in Richmond, Virginia. The governor, Ralph Northam, declaring a state of emergency, saying law enforcement agencies had credible intelligence, armed militia groups had malicious plans. They're not coming to peacefully protest. They're coming to intimidate and to cause harm. The three men have already been arrested. Law enforcement agencies have added patrols in and out of the Capitol, and the governor has issued a temporary ban on weapons in and around the Capitol. Two firefighters recovering after being trapped in a burning apartment building in California. You can see flames shooting out of the side of that window there. Fire crews attack the flames from the roof and on the ground while searching for people possibly inside. Six people transported to the hospital alone with two firefighters. Half of those transported suffered from smoke inhalation. Toyota's manufacturing of the Tacoma pickup truck is leaving San Antonio. Beginning next year, production will be shifting to Mexico. No jobs expected to be lost as a result of the change. Tundras will still be manufactured locally. And in 2022, Toyota plans to move production of the Toyota Sequoia SUV to San Antonio as well. Boeing's troubled 737 MAX has run into a new glitch. During a recent technical review, Boeing observed an issue with the plane's flight computers. The issue is not related to the software revision Boeing made to address the cause of two crashes where 346 people died. The MAX has been grounded since March following those crashes. Take a look at this. Video caught a massive dust storm sweeping across a town in Australia earlier this week. Dust storms caused by strong winds that blow over loose soil or sand. It might look mesmerizing, but it can be dangerous if you're caught in it because of limited visibility. To read more about these nine stories, head to ksat.com.